Hi, this is Pete Gray, and this is Fisherman's Landing Tackle Store. We're here for a new series of Shimano-sponsored videos that we're going to put on our website and Facebook page, as well as Twitter. So we're here with Rock Cod Rick, and today, what are we going to do today, Rick? Well, we're going to show you how to splice a loop in a Power Pro Hollow Ace Spectrum. So, All right. Um, these loops can be used for a variety of things, whether you want to use uh, Shimano pre-made wind-on leaders, um, whether you just want a loop to connect a, 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 a loop application's way of making a, a, a seamless loop um, without tying any knots. It's really strong in your Holloway Spectrum. We're going to show you how to do it. It's real easy. All right, let's do it. So we start off, this is 130 pound hollow ace, and okay. I'm going to be making this loop with one of these latch needles. Uh, okay. This particular needle is by Daho. Power Pro makes a really nice hollow spectra kit for around $100. It has all the hollow needles and latch needles you'd want to make a loop. So anyways, we start off by taking a length, about the length of the needle, call it about six inches or so. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this latch needle and we're going to run it inside of this hollow spectra. So this is the tag end, this would be the end going towards your reel. The first thing we do is kind of bunch bunch our, uh, our hollow ace together like that to kind of open it up a little bit. And we take this needle and it's got a little hook on it. We run the hook right inside of the hollow ace like so and start to push it forward. All right, looks pretty easy to get. That's one of the advantages of hollow ace is so easy to get into with those needles. Hollow Ace is a 16 carrier spectra, where most of the other spectras out there are a 12 carrier. What that means is there's more strands that make the weave. So even when it's opened up, it stays tighter, which doesn't allow the needle to pop out as easy. So anyways, now that we're into our 130 pound, we're just gonna push this up the line. And I like to, I like to go up, say, about uh, eight to 12 inches or so when I'm uh, making my hollow, hollow loop. So all I'm doing right now, as you can see, is taking this line and I'm pushing my needle into this hollow spectra. All right, looks pretty simple. Yeah, again, Going up like there you, real easy. Like you say, that's that's the distinct advantage of using uh, the hollow ace over some of the other hollow spectras out there. Okay, so now that I've got that distance, my needle is pushed all the way up that hollow ace. I'm just gonna. Kind of work it through and push it right out the wall of the hollow spectra of the weave to come up in front of the line and put it inside this little hook here. And like we said, this needle is called a latch needle. It's got a little hook and this little this little latch door here. And we're going to kind of close the door just like so. And what we're going to do is take the spectra and we're going to pull it through itself just like so. So the line is now inside of the hook. Let's see if I can keep my fingers from blocking it out for you. We're going to grab it and we're going to pull it through itself, just like so. So now that piece that is in the needle is still there and we've pulled that through the piece of the, the hollow core of the spectra. So that pops the loop out like so. That's now our loop. Now this is the only slightly tricky part. We're going to take our fingers and we're going to pinch them right here and we're going to push that direction. And what you'll see if we can zoom in right here is you'll see this loop turning inside out over the top of itself. So I've got the fingers pinched and I'm starting to pull it down. And as we pull that, you can see the line starting to turn inside out. And then as we come back, when the line is turned completely inside out over itself, it locks the line into place. So now we have one line with our loop at the end that's really, really strong. We can't, you couldn't budge it if you tried. And it's being held into place by the friction of the two lines pulling against themselves. So All right, so now some demonstrations show that you put the line back through again. Do you do that too, or you what don't I, necessarily need yeah, to? Yeah, what, what I like to do um, with my tag end, so at the, when we started this knot, we started with the six inches of tag line right here. Mm -hmm. So I like to take this, this tag end and run it back inside. And it's a real easy process to do. What we do with that is we just kind of down here and measure out how far we need. And I'll put my needle in just a little bit beyond that point. So I go just a little bit further, do the exact same thing that we started with by bunching up the hollow ace. Again, taking our latch needle, putting the latch needle inside of our hollow spectra. Once I'm inside the core, I just push the needle right up to where the two meet each other, like so. I pop it out. I take that tag in now. I grab it, put it back in the latch, close the little door. 
pull it back through itself, and that's it. I take this tag end, I pull it nice and tight, I take the loop end, and I pull it nice and tight, and that's gonna get rid of any of the slack between the two lines, like so, so when we spread it out. That's kind of a nifty trick there, because yeah. that seems to be one of the things that's more difficult to do. So show yeah. us that one, one more time. So right where these two lines come together, right. it's very, very tight, as you can see. They're basically seamless. And some of the problems that guys will have is you'll have the two lines will have a little gap in between themselves. Right. If you take the tag end and you pull it all the way nice and tight until it stops, and then you do the same thing with your loop, you grab this end you pull it until it stops so that you get all the line bunched up like that. Once you spread the two apart, that little gap of those two lines will, will, will completely uh, erase itself. Oh, okay. Itself. Good trick. So that way you have a seamless con connection. Your tag end here is just going to end up inside of the hollow core, so that's going to disappear like that. Now it's gone. We'll spread this loop back out, just like so. And there is our completed uh, hollow spliced loop in our hollow ace. No right. knots, perfectly seamless, and 100% strength. And what do you do with that next? So now you've got a, uh, a loop in your line, and this could be used for a variety of things. A lot of guys on long range trips will be using these wind on loop style connections. So this is a pre made fluorocarbon leader that Shimano makes. It's got a spliced loop at the end of it, and you could buy three or four of these in different sizes. Like if you've got a Talica 10 or a Talica 12, a reel that would be capable of fishing 30 pound, 40 pound, or 50 pound line. You can keep your reel full of your hollow spectra and then just change your wind on top shot, you know, depending on the type of trip you're going on, the size line you need. This has a loop already inside of it. You can see the directions here. You just take the loop that's on the reel, take the loop of the spectra that we just made, one loop, one run, one loop through the other loop a couple of times, tighten it up, put it on your reel, and you're all done. No knots, you don't need to learn any fancy tools, and you can uh, have a nice seamless top shot that'll go through your guides. You won't even feel the thing when you're making your cast. It's pretty sweet. All right, and where do you get those uh, Daho needles? Um, like I said, Power Pro makes a really nice kit um, that has the needles. It has a, a little DVD that the guys put together that's really easy to follow. And any of your Shimano Power Pro dealers will do it. We can always take care of you here at Fisherman's Landing Tackle, and you're, you're going to love it. All right, that's it from Fisherman's Landing. Thanks a lot, Rock Cod Rick Maxa. And you can see this on our Facebook page. We'll be posting on our Shimano Let's Talk Hookup website, hookup1090.com. You can see us on Twitter, and we'll look forward to the next one. Thanks a lot, Rick. All right, thanks, guys. All right.